I don't know where this guy's going, but we're gonna find out. Every time he breaks through a floor, we get a little bit of money. We can use that money to add idiots. And before you know it, we have two green idiots on floor 12. So we can spend a bit of that money to give them a little bit more power, and let's increase our income. They're currently getting $6 per smash, and we can tap to speed them up to help them along. And we seem to be revealing some kind of large rock. We can also put these two green guys together for $160. They make a really big green guy. And he makes $18 per smash, so we're gonna add a few more basic idiots. So now we have four of them working together. Together. Floor 19 is a red floor, I'm not really sure what that means, so we're just gonna keep on plowing down. It's an Easter Island head. Okay, we're gonna add one more because then we can combine those two into a green one. And then we're gonna wash off this giant idiot for a thousand dollars. We're now gonna merge these two together, so we have two real big green guys, and then we're gonna merge them together to have the next guy. But we're also gonna increase our income, they're getting $18 per swing, now they're at 27, that was a 50% increase. But I do see there's treasure chests buried down below, we got a long ways to go to get there. Okay, we're gonna put these two together, they were making $27 per tap, now they're 75. And we'll give them a little more power so we're busting through even quicker. I can already tell we're gonna need a lot more workers to get through this. But if I let them click, we tear through the floors at this point. They're obviously gonna get harder, but for now our big guys absolutely destroying. We've quickly made it down to floor 76, so it's time to add a few more workers. And also definitely merge a bunch together. I think we can only have so many at a time, so we need to merge them. But that's perfect. The more we smash these idiots together, the stronger they're gonna be for us. We're also revealing another relic. Uh, before we even get into that, apparently we got hammers instead, which are much more powerful again. And our treasure, as it turns out, was a stick. The rarest of all the artifacts. So we'll give that a quick scrub. And that's worth $2,000. And we can use that money to put men together. Those two are going together. Then we're going to add some more. This isn't really a mining game at all. It's a game about combining people. That's probably how it works in real life too. Like if you force people together hard enough, they probably just turn into one bigger person eventually. I'm also going to turn up income at this point. Because I already get the feeling they're going to be swinging their hammers a lot. And we want more money each time. We found bones. I think our treasures are actually getting worse as time goes on. The last one was a stick. This one's actual garbage. But one shiny happy skeleton, $2,500. We're also going to give them a little more power. The more they can smash through these, the better. The big ones make 110 per swing already. And we really quickly saved up another 7 grand, so I'm going to increase my income again. That'll take him from 110 to 140 per swing. You know what? I think when they do finally hit the bottom, I'm just going to make them fill it back in again layer by layer. They probably won't mind. I don't think they're getting paid anyway. And floor 150. It's really cool what their hard work can do for me. Now we have two big green guys. And I got a 10 second boost randomly, so look at them go now. Look at that money flow in. We're going to merge whoever together now. So we got another green guy, then we're going to merge out two uh, those, so now we have two big yellow guys. I bet you can predict what happens next. Because if you can't, there's no saving you. Two big yellow guys smash together. They're going from 140 to 275 per swing. And now we have two, just as we start to uncover an alien ship. $3,000 once we wash it. It's hypnotic. They all swing in unison, and every time they break exactly one floor. But we also need them to make more money for us while they do that. And I guess we'll add more power? They're already one-shotting the ground, but we'll add a few more idiots as well. We're making money so quickly now, we're just going to keep up on the merging. There was a point where it felt like an accomplishment to hit floor 50. Now we're at 250 and going strong. I think we're also uncovering a giant sword, so that's going to be fun. 250 is where the floor gets harder, because this takes a few hits. It's nothing a good sword washing won't fix for us. That's not really worth it for us anymore, because that was like $3,000. We make that in no time now, like we have 33. But I can't merge the two big red guys yet, so I don't know if we need to go deeper, or maybe they're just unmergeable. I'm going to keep smashing things together and find out though, because if it doesn't work, I'll just find a way to break it. $7,700 to merge those two. And we're doing better, we're not quite breaking the floor in one hit, but we're almost doing it. So we'll put the two green machines together now we have a yellow and we put the yellows together that cost ten thousand dollars for some reason things are not getting any cheaper but we're gonna smash our way through to what looks to be a giant gem that's rusty i'm stupidly gonna sit here and believe that this is worth more money than it should be but it's probably gonna be like fifteen hundred dollars it's not even worth the water and it's clearly a very dirty gem because i can't actually finish it for some reason i'm 99 percent of the way there there's just like one little speck of dirt hiding somewhere on there that i cannot find I even upgraded my thing to like a nuclear powered water sprayer and I still can't get the dirt. You know what, that's okay. I won't miss the gem anyway. Look at these guys go. So we'll just go back to merging idiots together until something fun happens. I'm also going to increase their power for 13,000. Uh, we're not quite one-shotting the floor, but we broke 300. Floor 313, we got quite the assortment of idiots working for us. But soon to be even better, we're going to smash it too. So now we have three reds. Can we put three reds together? Maybe we just need like four of them. If we can even fit that, I don't really know. I'm just going to keep smashing things together and digging downwards. That's all I know at this point. This is my life now. We are making like $1,000 per swing though if they all swing in unison. And I just realized we can actually increase that by quite a bit. They went from 385 to 440. So now we're somewhere in the ballpark of 1500 per swing. That money's obviously going to add up. So we merge our idiots into a green 
one, and then we're going to add another basic green. And we're getting close to the treasure chest, so we're going to add another yellow, and I think if we spend 7200 we add another yellow. And then we're going to put them together because we're making lots of money. No, we have four red morons. Do we add a red moron at this point? We do. And I think we get $70,000 for the next weapon. Oh, that resets my progress, but he's got a spiky hammer now, so he's busting through this by himself for $500. I should just make him do all the work now. Here, you can even have more income. Didn't his income just go up? Why is it $509? I don't know, but how could I stay mad at this little rascal? He's swinging a giant hammer full of spikes. I can't stay mad at him. And I think I found the treasure chest. Treasure box pop up. Okay, we now suddenly have a spiked mace also. I might have done that backwards, but I might have done that okay. I don't really know. We're going to add more power for this guy, and then we're going to add some helpers for him. Not that I care if he's overworked. I just need production. We're coming up on floor 500 pretty soon. Maybe that's got a nice bonus. You know what? We need three, even four of these guys. Why do these only give me 10? This guy gives me 500. I don't like this one bit. Well, he's clearly all of them prior combined, where these guys really just are basic morons. That's why they can't break anything. There's floor 500, though, and he's still smashing through this in one shot. The next step is a blue chest, probably a floor 1000 if I'm seeing that correctly. So let's combine some of them together. Now we have a green guy with a mace who's hopefully going to be a little bit more assistance. Even to merge him now costs 19,000, so they're getting expensive, and it takes a while for them to earn their money back. I guess I can always try washing one of these more valuable things. I don't even have my super powered super soaker anymore. But I washed whatever this thing is, a golden cog, only 3,500. Well, we'll keep working our way back up. We're going to add more idiots, add more idiots, and eventually merge them. $20,000 for a single merge. We're going to spend millions to get to the bottom of this hole. I currently have a medium green guy for $32 per hit. I'm going to add a few more basic idiots, and eventually the money will just sort of add up. That's the beauty of these games. The longer we wait, the more stuff that happens, and I've got all day. We're also coming up with the next treasure chest, which looks like it might only be a floor of 700 or 750 because we're right on top of it. 700 it is. We get a new treasure. It's a meat tenderizer, which obviously is much better for breaking through the ground, but it did also add 100 extra uh, earnings for the big guy. So we're also going to merge some idiots together, and then he's going to be even stronger. We're ready to do that again as soon as we have the money, which might take a while, but we'll help them along. Okay, for 24,000, we can merge them. Now at least we have one of these guys again actually we got two big green guys wonder what happens if we merge them though because one of them's super powered these are the questions i just have to have answers for but we're also going to add some more little basic yellow guys they're only 11 dollars a swing but they do help plus the more than we have on the ground the more than we get to eventually smash into one of the bigger people and they get to watch until then they can see their fate they can do nothing about it Twenty five thousand dollars for a merge it was two yellows I mean, that works too, but I was hoping it would be the big green guys. I really want to see what that turns into. But I also now have nothing mergeable except the big guys, so I know if I'm going to merge something again, it's got to be them. So those two go together, and he's 781 per smash. Do I want another one of those? I think I do. So now we got two big yellow guys. One of is hitting for 280, the other 780, and then two little guys. But I do want to smash the two big guys together too. And that only costs $28,000. We got another red guy. He's getting 1060 And I decided we needed another big red guy, so now we got oh, two of those. Even the regular one gets $560 per swing, so that's really just going to help our money a lot. We just passed for 900 so we're well on the way to 1000 where I think the next treasure chest is. We're going to increase our income as well so that went 10% up on the way to a thousand we're gonna add some more idiots they're so expensive to merge that it hurts but that's part of it you gotta merge them to get more money and more power speak of power i'm gonna add some even though we really don't need it this big guy's already one shotting the ground 32,000, we're going to merge those two together, so there's a slight upgrade, we're going to add another base idiot. But we're also quickly coming up on floor 1000, and I'm kind of interested to see what's here. There's the treasure chest. We revealed it, and we plowed sort of past it. And that apparently brings us back to the surface. We did get $5,000 for making it to the bottom. We spent 10 million getting there, but who am I to do math? Alright, well the first thing we're going to do is increase our income a whole bunch, because the more money we can make, the easier this is going to be. And we're going to add some of these idiots. These are really cheap this time around. Look at all the money we're making already. We don't actually have to make them more powerful we'd make more money not to make them powerful and if i'd known it would have reset i could have set myself up a lot better but we'll make it down a thousand floors in no time there's 20 already because we're going to ignore washing things off because that's stupid and pretty much just plow straight on down to the bottom the first treasure chest is at 500 so we merged some of them we just got to save up a bit more money floor 100 and i saved up 10 grand already which means we could definitely add a few more and do a bit more merging give that a few of each and then now nah, we're getting somewhere without any power upgrade so far we're still able to smash through this and make a lot of money okay floor 130 things have gotten a little bit harder so we're probably going to need a power upgrade although we would make more money not to but for now i'm just going to settle for a merge and we'll just let these idiots just keep on digging all right since they're starting to struggle we'll give them a few power upgrades that's a little better they're not 
instantly killing the floors, but they're almost instantly killing the floors. And the ground definitely gets a lot harder at floor 160, so we'll give them a bit more power, we'll add another idiot, and then we'll start merging them once again. This time we're going to put some of the greens together, so we got a big yellow. That's going to be a big help. You know, I can't really help but wonder how many different weapons there are. We unlocked a few of them. So we switched to our hammers and got a power upgrade, so obviously they're feeling a little overpowered for a minute. But I'm also going to merge them in, so we got two yellow idiots, and we'll add another basic yellow idiot. And at this point, the hammer is strong, but it's still not enough to destroy even floor 216. So then after that, it becomes a spiky mallet, which is definitely noticeably stronger, but still not one-shotting the floor. But it's still fun. And then we're going to find out what's next. Next was our maces. These are even stronger again because we're on floor 240 and we're able to smash the floor pretty quickly, even with basic idiots. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably spend some of our money to merge some of these very basic idiots. Now we have a big red one. He's going to make 360 per swing. And we now have the meat tenderizer and two big red guys. So a big red guy plus the meat tenderizer is able to one-shot the floor at this point. And that's without any more power upgrades. But then how many more weapons are they? How strong do they get? Okay, so it turns out an axe is next. We all knew axes are the best things for mining. And obviously see these definitely one shot the ground so we're gonna go ahead and turn our income up that turned these guys up to 450 per swing but now that we're getting close to 300 we still don't have the strength to bust through the ground so what comes after axes well this was completely obvious but next is the bouncy hammer and i'm a little annoyed we're not one shotting the ground so we're gonna put a few uh, upgrades into power at this point because i think it'd be funny to have the bouncy hammer busting through the ground instantly kind of like this we're using an inflatable clown hammer to mine and that's perfectly suitable because we're mining with clowns. So we're going to add a worker, get a little boost, we're going to merge some of them together. I would like three red clowns. We're making money so quickly suddenly it's almost stupid. At about 350 we're starting to slow down again. We can't quite bust through the floor in one hit but the big guy can do it in two. After the clown hammer comes candies. We're literally mining the ground with candies and they're not very strong. Beginning to wonder at this point if the new weapon is actually even stronger than the last one or if it's just for fun. But we're not here to have fun. We're here to conduct science and mine to the bottom. Like I really can't tell if these are getting stronger or not because the ground is getting harder as we go. We're obviously making pretty good progress and I'm not clicking these guys through at any point. They're just mining by themselves mostly. If I do click they go through very quick. We're at 400 and we got a meat leg. That's a natural evolution of weapons. This one again seems pretty strong but it's not one shotting the ground not even close so we're going to give them a power upgrade and we're going to give them two power upgrades to see if that's enough to do it this definitely will be that's just a 10 second boost and i think if we help click we'll rapid fire through the ground that boosts us all the way down to 430 in a hurry the next power upgrade costs 51,000, so we're going to buy it now the big guy seems to be break it in two hits but he's really doing all the work so we need to get some smaller ones up to his size and that shouldn't take super long we now have two yellows these might merge into the reds i don't remember we put them together there we go three red morons but now that we hit floor whatever it's getting very tough again and we're gonna go ahead and trade the meat sticks in for baseball bats again very very efficient mining equipment do we need more income would that help we went from 525 to 600 per hit actually we can do that again for 45,000. those just pay for themselves very quickly 675 per strike there's no more option to uh, upgrade our weapon, so I think the baseball bat's as good as it gets for now. This is a max level weapon. Unfortunately, we don't have max level idiots because they're taking their sweet time to get through this stuff. But at the amount of money we're making, we can just continue to add a guy, merge him, then we'll make that money back in no time at all. We've already made another 50k, now we're up to 60,000. We're making like $5,000 a second at this point, so we need more of these guys. Now they're getting somewhere. We're going to put these guys together. Now we got four red morons. That's going to be even more money again if we can increase our income again. I wonder how much income we can increase now can we just break the game by making money the income upgrade is getting expensive it's already 91,000. we can afford that and we'll make it back very quickly 825 per swing for these guys the next upgrade is 122 so the next one's going to be like 170 or something ridiculous but we're making 900 dollars per swing yeah the next upgrade was 160,000, so the next one's going to be almost 200,000. so let's pretend like we saved up enough to buy that now we're making 1050 per swing i sort of don't want to add a fifth red guy i think i could but i'm worried at that point they're all going to reset i'm going to have to start over again i really like the amount of income we have especially because we can increase it again for 256,000. quarter million dollars and they're making 1130 dollars every time their baseball bat touches is the ground i don't think you're supposed to do it this way but i've now saved up a million dollars which is good because we found a treasure chest with a four thousand dollar bonus in it but that sort of helps to emphasize how backwards i'm doing this i did also kind of want a large sum of money in the bank for when i add another player like this in case they reset luckily they didn't reset so now i don't know if i put millions of dollars into power or more income we can put a little bit more into income especially now that there's five of them we'll make that money back in no time at all and more good news the ground is so hard here we can barely break through it so we're going to swing our very 
very expensive money making baseball bats at it endlessly. I did accidentally tap the blue button down here that makes us a rapid fire attack, but that's fine because we'll just make more money quicker. I think this is getting cost prohibitive though. If I spent $386,000, they went from 1.2 million to 1.28 million. That does add quite a bit per swing, but I don't know if it's worth it because the next one's going to be about half a million dollars. So maybe we'll look more at power. What is to put a whole bunch of money into power again because power seems really cheap in comparison. That's better. Now we're breaking through floors again. We can even do that one more time. Now they pretty much just go all by themselves. These guys just really don't like the ground. But we're going to help them. We're going to give them more power. Power is officially just maxed. And that's going to be helpful. There's only 100 floors to go. We can increase our income again, so we might as well. Decided to give them a little power boost help as we rocket towards the end. And there's a treasure chest at floor 1000. $5,000? That's so generous, considering we have 666000 in the bank and made millions already.